YouTube, welcome to the new subscribers and the old, welcome back. And I know it's been a minute since I've put anything on here. It is now 6.15 p.m. on Saturday, I think it's July 9th. And I've been trying from 3 p.m., trying to get on the road from 3 p.m. to head down here to Miami. Supposed to be about a three and a half hour ride. I didn't get rolling until late. And then one of my headlights went out and I just did not feel like riding down there because I know by the time I come back up, it's going to be dark. Well, by the time I leave down there anyway, it's going before I leave, it's going to be dark. So I stopped and got me a bulb and changed it out, put it in. And it was raining too. You still see some water on the windshield. But we just thought, well, you know, this was the plan anyway. I tried yesterday to go down there after work, but there was just so much traffic on the road. You know, Friday evening, afternoon traffic, and everything was backed up. So I turned around and went back home. But today, I sat around upon the roads for most of the day, sat through the rain, and once I saw the rain go away, I hit the road. So we're gonna try and get down here. We're probably not gonna get down here till about nine o'clock, I think. As long as the traffic is not too heavy or there are no accidents slowing me down. And we're actually doing what Golden Riders are famous for doing, riding for food. Now I know some of you might have uh, seen me post on uh, the G Goldwing, uh, I can't remember the name now, but it's Connor Luckett's uh, Facebook page that he and some others created. I talked about concerns for the environment and not riding as much as I used to, but you know, I, I still got Red Scorpion here and she still runs, so riding for food is gonna get me out on the road. But, you know, I guess everybody heard the news about what's happening in Japan and in Europe with their environmental standards and how it's affecting the manufacture of the gold wing. I don't think they're going to be any more gold wings, at least not to be distributed around Europe. Our standards here still allow them to ship it here, so I don't know if they'll still make some and ship gold wings here, but, you know, we'll find out as we go along. But there was some mention about having an electric model. I don't know if that's been in the in the works for, as far as design and testing and all that, but that's something I'd definitely be interested in. Even if they put it on the, on the 2018 frame, I think I'd go for that, an electric. And, you know, depending on the range on it and, you know, charging stations that you can get might be a nice thing but for now we kind of rode to work yesterday because I wanted to go down to Miami like I said and that didn't work out so now today we're gonna head down there and see if we can make it the skies cleared up because when my headlight headlight went out oh there's a rainbow too I don't know if the camera's picking it up But all of this was dark clouds and rain, but I guess it moved over to the west. And now we got bright sunshine, 82 degrees. And the rain cooled it down because it was 91 when I left home. All right, well, we're gonna sit back and listen to some tunes for a little. And we'll see y'all when we get down there. For now, it's Ghost Rider, Red Scorpion, 95 southbound, heading down to Miami. And we'll see you in a few. I have to jump back on here, uh, YouTube. A lot of accidents happened during the downpour. That's the third car that ran off the road. And right after I came back to the last time, there was a little bit of rain. 
cloud popped up out of nowhere. But I'm pretty sure between now and by the time I get further down the road, you see spray still kicking up here, road still a little wet. A trio of Camaros went by me like bats out of hell. So there are going to be some accidents on the way down here. But we just thought we'd jump back in here and give you a short update. Alright, we're talking to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. I'm back with you. It's 6.58 p.m. A young lady just blew my doors off on her crotch rocket. I thought about turning the wrist and trying to catch up with her, but she she was hauling tail. Uh, at least she did wave when she went by. I can't even see her now. <laughs> yeah, she, she zipped by me pretty fast. And I have not come up on any slowdowns at this point. I see a hint of brake lights up ahead. But so far, still moving on. Making much better time than we did uh, trying to get down here yesterday. The state police out here in full force and all the ones I've seen, they're all in unmarked cars. Different kinds. I guess they're trying to get the tourists and get some revenue for the state and the county and the cities. Just trying to get people to slow down. Yeah, I was trying to hold out until I got down here in Broward County before I came back on, but. You ever get, had your doors blown off by another motorcyclist while you're on your gold wing and you're tempted to crank that throttle up just to show them what this bike can do? <laughs> and then you think about it and you're like, nah, and just let them go. And that's kind of what happened to me. But on the off chance that she might have slowed down some, but I guess she she, she got to get to where she's going. I don't know of any bike events down here in Miami this weekend. You know, they're always having bike events down here anyway, but my mission is food related. Some oxtail and beans that I saw cooking up. Mm -mm -mm. And even though I'm not supposed to be having oxtails, you know, one meal won't won't kill me. I don't think so anyway. But we we're gonna get we're gonna get that. Alright, well we're gonna cut out again and uh we'll get back to you. I thought this car just slowed down the front went around now he come in front of me to slow down again. I mean I got my cruise set and I'm rolling. And he can't keep his foot on the pedal long enough to maintain his speed. But you know what they say, don't go to Miami if you don't have patience. Because the way they drive, they make up their own rules as they go along. There was one pickup truck in the left lane back there before I turned the camera back on in the 70 mile an hour zone, and he was doing 60 in the left lane. Uh, I just don't understand people. But traffic's getting a little thicker. We're actually down here in uh, Palm Beach County right now. Let's see, we got... Uh, we got about 50 more miles before we hit uh, Broward County. So we're gonna kick back and watch it, watch the scenery, and we'll get back to you. We'll see y'all in a bit. 
Hey, Ghost Rider Red Scorpion back again. We're down here in Broward County. Got about another uh, 28 miles, I think. No, 18 miles till we get down to Miami-Dade County. But we still won't be there yet. We got about, oh, I think about 30, 35 miles in Miami-Dade County to get to where we're going. And these crotch rockets been lighting the fire down here. Two more just passed me. But you know, they're doing their thing, the bobbing and the weaving. And uh, I was out of the cruise control for a little, put it back on now. It should, we should still have some daylight up until about 8.30, I think. Quarter to nine, maybe. But definitely, once we get done, probably before we even sit down to eat, it's gonna be dark. But uh, this is a lot further than I got yesterday, and a lot faster, too. Because everything was at a start and stop about 15, 20 miles an hour and then stop. That's why I kind of hung it up and went home yesterday. Between rush hour and all the uh, tourists that are down here, I guess, Friday evening, everybody's trying to get to where they're going to have a little fun for the weekend. I mean, they're still doing it on Saturday, but just no more work people, not as many work people anyway. So we're just going to keep rolling until we uh, get down here to Miami-Dade. I'm sure my uh, one, my rear-facing camera on the trunk, it, it caught those uh, two-wheelers coming by. And if I remember, I'll edit them into this video. Not sure if I'm going to have enough time tomorrow because uh, I left all my chores undone today, so tomorrow's gonna be a day full of chores. See if I can't be in between, I can do some editing. Get this video up by tomorrow night, I'm hoping. If not, it's gonna be uh, the following weekend, which would be, what, the 16th or 17th? Yeah. But, you know, we, we, we're gonna be working on it. Trying to mess with my cruise control. Come on now. Let's keep it going. I'm zipping by Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport in a little bit. I set this microphone right and it's not picking up a whole lot of wind noise. I don't know why I started doing that lately. See all those clouds over there? Earlier today they were over here pouring down. can't complain. I mean, they might be interrupting my cruise control, but the traffic's still moving fairly steady. There you go. 
Let's roll. And to think I almost did not come down after I had all those delays and then the rain and then the headlight went out. So I stopped to fix that and got gas at the same time. So right now I've gone just coming up on just about 100 miles and add about another 35 before that when I stop to fix the headlight and get gas. So, uh, I think mileage-wise, I don't have that much further to go. Probably about 65 miles, I think. I think the total when I checked it was about 159 miles. I'll check it again. Let's see how much it was. But you know, it said three hours and 10 minutes is what the, the map actually said it would take. Ooh, somebody messed up. But I figure I can do it in three. I mean, when I started this video and I said three hours, it wasn't three hours from where I was. It was three hours from home. So maybe instead of getting down here at nine, maybe I'll get down here about 8.30, I think. I mean, I tried to get out earlier, but you know how it is. Things keep popping up. And now the airport exit traffic. Coming down here is like going to New York City. 24 seven traffic. I know GB winging it know what I'm talking about. You know, you're right there in it, but you seem to move around it in it pretty good. I mean, I used to move through it pretty good myself when I lived up there. Back in the 1900s. <laughs> oh man, I'm old. But I'm not giving in to the years. I told myself I was gonna get out and ride this weekend wasn't my intention to do a six hours of riding just to get something to eat but I mean you know three hours each way but let me kind of add the time for stopping to get gas and pick up a headlight bulb and change it out still better than a day at work though wouldn't y'all agree with me yeah I know you do a bad day on the gold wing is still better than a good day at work. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get, get back on my cruise. There we go. I know when I go by here in the 18-wheeler, I can look over and see the runway, but I'm sitting up high then. I don't think I'm, I don't know, recall if I'm high enough on the motorcycle to look over there and see it. Oh, we got a little way after we go past the next underpass. Yeah, there's a plane coming in to land. If you can see it. I always wanted to be able to ride in under it as it comes over the highway. But I guess I missed this one. Man, they've been working on this part of 95 for ages now.
think they're changing up the exit for Marina Boulevard. Because they chopped out one set of... Oh, yeah, there's a runway. Yeah, we're right at the level. No more planes coming in right now. How to clean up my windshield. Went through that rain and then some bugs hit it and messed it up. All right, we're gonna cut out for a little bit and we catch up with you when we get to where we're going. And hopefully them blue, red and blue lights are not after me. Whoa, there's quite a few of them. Wonder what's going on. Oh yeah, there's another one. Huh. And there's another, oh man, something's going on. They after somebody. And yeah, those are sheriffs. And the first couple of ones I think were state troopers. There's always pursuits going on on this road. All right, like I said, uh, we'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. We're gonna fight some traffic here, try to make up some time. See you in a bit. Now, I don't know, maybe some big accident happened back there. I don't know what in the world is going on. Lights and sirens. And more still coming. Got uh, about seven more miles to my exit. About that's that's Miami Dade County Police. So they coming from Miami, whoever they chasing. I think over this little berm here should be going and see that sign for Miami Dade. I mean, you all the way at the back of the pack. Why are you still trying to catch up? the sign. Miami-Dade County. Yep, we're going to be coming to a stop. This is what's going to make it take longer. And 
YouTube, I'm back again, closing in on it, at seven minutes after eight in the p.m., 88 degrees, and it was 170 miles on the map. We still got a little ways to go down here, but I think we should make it there in about 15, 20 minutes, depending on what the uh, Route 1 traffic looks like. Cutler Bay is where, it's, where it is. That's the name of the place. Well, we're just going to sit over here in the left lane because we're looking to get on to 989 South, I think it is, when we get down here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of lights down through here. Yeah, it's a bit of a haul to come down here. Look, if y'all can't do 45, you're holding me up. Oh, this is 990. So 989 is what we want. Mmm, I smell some Jamaican food. Mmm. I don't know where it's coming from, but it smells good. Been at this light for three minutes now, going on four. Or is it two? Yeah. Two minutes going on three. Yeah, three minutes. Come on now. When that thing say green, go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, we could have gone back. to plug up because the battery went dead and I'm right here but I just wanted to record my roll up this is the gorilla truck and this is where we're gonna get our food Start shutting things down. Hope I got enough battery power to. Hello. 
There's the chef up there fixing the food. All right, so we'll get back at you once we get all this food situation situated. Ghost Rider, Red Scorpion, at the Oxtail place. <laughs> the Jamaican flag. Oop. And we see you in a bit. We're 10 7 for now. Thanks for coming along on the ride. And we'll see you next time. All right, people. It's the oxtail dinner. And we're about to tear it up <laughs> from the gorilla truck. And there's Red Scorpion, 170 miles down here. Aaron is the good. oxtail Aaron, dinner. Cutler Bay, man. Red Scorpion, can't talk now, mouth's gonna be full.